What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about an alleged iOS 10.3 to 10.3.2 64-bit jailbreak that is available on GitHub as a project and um, we're going to get through the, through the claims of it and we're going to see whether it's legit or not. So uh, we're going to get to do that because I've been asked a lot of times lately about this jailbreak especially since apparently I'm a contributor on it. So let's get to see it. Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, telling you who is the developer behind it. It's this guy in here, iBoot Betas 2. The jailbreak is called OXUL103 jailbreak and it's apparently available under GPL license. So he took the time to also put the license in here, which is okay. We're going to see, it says it consists 81% uh, uh, of um, C code, some shell and some Swift and some other that isn't, um, yeah, probably binary and so on. So it has the consistency of a jailbreak, you might say. Well, it does have an exploit folder in here. We're going to see it has been updated seven hours ago, which is definitely good. Let's uh, let's go a little bit through the files. We have a disable protection C file containing quite some code in here, as you can see, for getting task for PID and so on, whatever. Then you have some un, uh, unsandboxer, which is um, apparently forked from GeoSnow's repository, okay. Yeah, so he's definitely saying credits FC365 forked from GeoSnow. Okay. Let's go through another uh, file in here. We have a run.sh. This one apparently wasn't created by me, but it contains some kind of um, jailbreak inject injection mechanism, whatever. Let's get through other things. We have the exploit in here. Let's go through the exploit. It says kernel exploit header, which is a header, and it says the kernel patched and developed by GeoSnow. Now this is where the problem starts guys. I have never been working on any jailbreak called OXUL103 and uh, this is definitely fake. The problem is that it has been uh, promoted lately on Twitter and I have seen some posts about it even on jailbreak reddit people start to ask about it whether it's fake or not because yes it does look pretty solid it does look pretty legit. If you, if you take a look in here, it does have a, an FAQ page that is correct, it does have a, a table of planned support, it does have some warnings and some uh, beta information, it is, even has some installing part in here, that is of course copied from a uh, Yaldi 102. Now let's get a little bit through the uh, things in here and I'm going to tell you why it's fake, despite the fact that it's heavily um, updated lately. Okay, so as I said, if you go ahead in here on the exploit folder, you can see that getting in kernel exploit of age, you're going to see kernel patched and developed by GeoSnow. Well, there's a problem. I have never made any kernel exploit, let alone any patched kernel that uh, I have made public that this guy can use. So I, I went ahead and created an issue. Of course, it was closed. I made it yesterday, but it was already closed. So let's go through the, through the uh, closed issues in here. And it's called Big Issue by GeoSnow. Okay, let's see through it. So 14 hours ago, I told him I have never developed any kernel patch for iOS 10.3.x. Why you imply I did? And he started with, with, of course, a long ass response and then, of course, closed this thing. Uh, he said, I implied, I state provided credit for you. I thought giving the right and excellence for the creator and blah, 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 of course. Now, I said it's not about giving credit to me. Um, you, you have lied about the exploit itself, giving false credit to me, maybe to, get, to gain some traction, but I have never developed any kernel exploit, let alone one that is publicly available for people to use in their project. I would love to do that in the future, but until this point, I did not. So you're cred you crediting me for the kernel exploit used in this alleged jailbreak is a blatant lie. And of course, he did not respond. Um, he did not reply. So going ahead in here on uh, OXUL jailbreak pack, you can see we have a run.sh file, which is apparently the file that would trigger this jailbreak. Uh, of course, it doesn't make any sense because if you if you take a look in here, it's he says it's semi untethered jailbreak, but if you take a look in here, it says untethered. Yeah, makes sense. And he says that it will be released as an IPA and will be available for developers. Yet you have a run.sh file, which should be um, run uh, from a terminal. So if you take a look in here, this is what triggered me. If you take a look in here at this file, you're going to see that it, it contains some uh, make tiers. It's going to create a folder in photo data that is called Kim Jong Cracks. And uh, there's a problem in here. Kim Jong Cracks is actually KGC, 
and uh, it's the team behind Yalu, in which look at the Tesco is also a member. Uh, and if you take a look in here, there is a project made two years ago, I guess, two years or maybe three, anyways, uh, created by look at the Tesco and whatever KGC. And it's the first version ever of Yalu, which was incomplete at then. It's still incomplete. And it, it, it was an incomplete jailbreak for iOS 8.4.1, as you can see by Kim Jong Cracks. 8.4.1 code sign and sandbox bypass with LPE to root and untether. If you go ahead, you see it has a run.sh file updated nine months ago. Okay, we're going to take into it. And as you can see, it's literally the same file that is present with the make tiers for photo data Kim Jong cracks available in here on uh, OXUL for 103 and whatever. So it's already copying parts of the, uh, the first version of Yalu. If you navigate in OXUL 103 folder in here, you're going to see this, which is actually copying the extra recipe. Going ahead in here, you can see this is exactly the readme for the extra recipe created by Xerob, and it contains exactly the same parts from uh, from Xerob. In fact, I think it, it contains only a couple of them. In fact, I think he also stripped a couple of them, so not even this one will work. If you go ahead in the app, it has the whatever app in here, the sources and so on, so nothing important implying any jailbreak. And taking a look at the uh, developers in here, it's if you take a look, it says in here, uh, active star members, whatever, some members I, I've never heard of. And yeah, only uh, only this guy in here is basically the developer. So let's get straight into, into other files. Jailbreak.c is um, containing this by now. So uh, yeah, you can see it basically copies Mac portal at the same time. And jailbreak.m is completely empty. So. What is the problem here? The, uh, the This alleged jailbreak is basically copying Yalu, the first version of Yalu for 8.4.1. It's copying extra recipe for iOS uh, 10.1.1 and lower by Xerob, and it's also copying Yalu 102 by Luca Disco. And it also contains some kind of random files from some random developers or from some random project, but he's also crediting me, well, crediting me, He's saying that I made his exploit from here, as you can see it says in here, Geosnow, which is me, when in fact I did not. I do not know this guy, I have never talked with him, let alone ever worked on any project called OXUL Jailbreak, so therefore he is blatantly lying. So, this is actually it, guys. You're going to probably see a lot this OXUL 103 Jailbreak until some bigger developer like Luca Tedesco or anybody else expose it as being false. But the problem in here is that if you see it or if you see anything related to that or anybody implying that I, I am working with this guy on any Jailbreak as he is implying in here, it's actually not true. I'm not currently working on any Jailbreak, let alone with this guy in here. And I have never created any exploit that he can use so, uh, so that he can jailbreak. So uh, do not trust this OXUL 103 jailbreak. It's definitely fake. It's definitely a mashup of Mac Portal plus Yalu plus the first version of Yalu plus some gibberish files that have no sense whatsoever. So definitely do not try any IPA this guy will release if he ever releases. And keep that in mind. There is no jailbreak for iOS 10.3.1 currently, nor for 10.3.2. Do not update from 10.3.1. A legit exploit is coming from Adam Donanfield. Some of you already know about this from my channel. Uh, but do not do not use anything you see from this guy in here, iBoot, whatever, because it's definitely fake. Till the next time, I really hope I made um, things clean in here, especially since it got personal when he credited me for something I never done, but of course it had to be uh, to be said, because I've been getting a lot of questions, are oh, you working on a jailbreak? No, I'm not. Anyways, uh, this is actually it, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated, I hope this video made, um, made some sense and raised the awareness, peace out.